Hi everyone, it's Brad Filipponi from BoxBrownie.com. Today we're going to shoot a dusk photo shoot from start to finish at a lovely property on the Sunshine Coast hinterland. This house has offers over $2 million and you're going to see why in a moment. So let's get started. All right, as you can see, the light's dropping really fast. We've got a bit of a hinterland, you know, mountain regions to our left. Once that sun goes down, the light will drop very fast. Hi Spud, watch out, he does bite. Taking my shoes off, leaving these at the entrance way. Let's get started. Might leave that open a little bit. I might just place my camera down here. Let's go for a bit of a walk around the property. So we've already turned the lights on in inside the home. Just going to adjust, you know, all our cushions quickly. These blinds look pretty good. Just going to center them a little bit. That one's looking good. Pillows here are good. Great, we'll just come up here to the dining area. So all I'm doing here is just making sure our chairs are all nice and straight, nice and even, even spaces. It's all the little things in real estate photography as we keep saying. Looking good. Let's go into this main area here. Check out this view. So first things first, let's open up our doors. So important when shooting any property especially something like this that has an amazing outdoor area. We do have ocean view. So what I'm gonna do is, since our light's dropping quite fast, what I do wanna do is actually prep this room and actually start shooting all these rooms with ocean view because once it gets too dark, it's just too dark and you can't bring it back. So just sort of roughly, you know, just sort of organising cushions so they're looking quite nice. We've got a bit of a throw here, so I might just literally throw it over. Looking good, looking good. Um, bit of a cord here on the TV. Just gonna see if that does tuck up. If we do, we're laughing. Great. I'll try and tuck this one in as well. Good old Apple TV. Okay, let's open up the rest of these doors. Look at that beautiful Sunshine Coast view. Absolutely amazing. So to our left, we have ocean. To our right, we have a great you know, mountain region called the Glasshouse Mountains. Lovely spot. Trying to be gentle with those doors. Here we go. So once again, just uh, organizing these chairs here on the outdoor area. Nice and straight, nice and even doing both sides, checking all our lights, they are turned on, which is great. Just about there. Starting to get a bit fresh up here, which is great. It's that last chair I'm just gonna amend. Looking good. All right, we'll open up the rest of these doors. Always scanning the house for other items to move. Cool. Doors open from this way. Opening up doors in your shots always creates space. Shows that inside outside flow. Lovely. I've got another area out here with chairs, so I'm just going to quickly change them. Make sure they're all looking good. Two, three. Four and five, looking great. So we've got a shed down here, we've got a pool. I'm, re I'm really only guessing, but the bottom of that pool looking back is gonna be a hero shot. Check this shot here. We've got, you know, great inside outside feel, those mountains, absolutely love it. I can't wait to get my camera out, to be honest. I'm just gonna fix up these chairs here. Then we're almost ready to shoot this area. Got a basketball at the dining table. I'll grab that one while I remember. Cool dining tables, dining table, cool. And we've got a couple of chairs here. See how they're not really placed the best, um, or evenly I should say? So I'm just gonna pull these out, you know, just get them where they should be. You know, it's all the little things in real estate photography that make a huge difference. It's looking pretty good. Lovely, a rangewood lights are on. You're gonna notice here that we have a window, 
sort of server area here. I'm just going to shut that so we don't have too many lines in our shots. We've got a dishwashing liquid. I'm just going to put that down. Uh, I've got a buttless pantry here, which is absolutely divine. Um, I'm just going to put our basketball just here in the corner. It's always a good idea to remember where you put things to in people's homes. Just lifting that blind up, assisting it so it doesn't fall down. Might just tuck that cord sort of into the sink like that. We're looking good. We're looking good. Got a couple of TV remotes here. Um, I might just get these and actually just clear them. But I might put them in this basket, actually just move this basket out of shot. And then I believe this top area is almost ready to shoot. Uh, we might even grab this basket here as well. Very gentle. I'll just place these down in here for now. We can always move those back later on. This butler's pantry can be shot at any time. The reason why I'm rushing today is because I don't want to lose that view. Very important selling point of the property. I'm going to check if this lamp works. No, it won't because it's got no bulb, so we'll keep moving. Uh, down the end here, we're going to find the master bedroom. Which is good. Uh, okay, cool. We've got an iPhone charger here that's sort of hanging over here, so I'm just going to actually just put that behind here. Let's have a shot. Got a water bottle. I might just place this down here out of, out of view. Uh, we've got some doors over here. Um, you see this, 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 uh, this is security screen here. Can really sort of blanket out the shot. So I'm just going to open up these and you know let that beautiful view show. We do have a jumper here on the ground. So I'm just going to hide that down here. I do know that this uh, lamp doesn't have a bulb. That's why they're not. Then they're both not turned on. Bed sheets are looking nice and nice and cozy. Into the bathroom, a few things here. We've got a couple of. Uh, look, we've only really got a walk-in wardrobe here, so I'm going to keep that door shut. Doesn't need to be shown. Make that sure that shuts. And of course, we've got a couple of items here in the shower. Always best to move them out of the way. And I'm just centering our taps here. I probably will lift up that bath mat. And I'm just going to put these items here in this basket here. Just got a bit of water on me, but that's okay. Bath mat can just go here in the walk-in wardrobe. Lovely. That's looking really good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to get my camera out now. We really need to capture that ocean view before it's lost. I'm just going to grab my zoom lens. So I've got my zoom lens here. So I'm going to take my wide angle lens off and start using my zoom lens to get these. I suppose it's so important when uh, shooting any property with views, you really want to you know, really bring them as close as you can into the shot. I think what I'm going to do is uh, come out here first and really capture this ocean before we do lose it. So I'm just setting up my camera, getting things ready. Probably gonna keep flash off on this circumstance. As we know, this camera is amazing. Brackets, really, really lovely, really, really easy. So I'm just gonna find my spots, let the camera do all the hard work. Uh, always scanning for the next shot. This light's dropping really fast. Um, you know, anything that's you know, in a mountain range or, or hinterland is gonna do the exact same thing. That shot looks great. Just gonna zoom in a little bit further. You know, any property with ocean views, you really wanna capture it any way possible, whether that's inside the house or outside. Got a bit of a full moon out here, which is lovely. Hi everyone, I wanted to jump in here real quick to say if you need to get your real estate photos edited professionally, then I've created the perfect platform for you. All you've got to do is log on to boxbrownie.com, upload your images, choose from a range of edits, then we'll send you back the finished image that is ready for your marketing. Best of all, you can try it out for free by clicking the link below. Now let's get back to the video. There's our amazing hinterland. I'm gonna try and really get that in our shot. Always great to include a bit of balcony rail in your shots. That way people know you're not hanging out the toilet window trying to get that view zoomed in. Lovely. 
What a great night. Very, very clear. Um, just a beautiful Sunshine Coast evening. I'm being really gentle on my feet here. Because any movement on this balcony can create, you know, blurriness in your shots. One more of those. Just checking out our ocean view. A great shot of this property is going to be looking back here at dusk. Can't wait till this light drops a bit more. In the meantime, I've got to move fast so I don't miss any opportunities. Of course, we love your comments. Just please comment on any of our videos, any tips, any, any questions. We will answer them eventually, we promise. All right, that view is looking absolutely divine. I might just do a real zoomed in one of our little Malulaba area. Lovely, very, very nice. So I'm gonna see if there's any cool, unique shots I can get from this balcony looking in with my zoom lens, e.g. those mountains here over here. So. It's always great to include a bit of outside and a bit of inside in your shots. Um, of course, if you've got any views, you know, always good, always good. Might just put my flash on a bit here. So prep work's super important, as you can see. Once you've prepped a level or, or an area of the house, it's really just point and shoot. Like it's, it's, it's super simple, super simple. Oh, it looks amazing. Give it a shot from over here. Let's zoom in a little. So you always wanna make your, you know, make your areas look as big as possible, but don't make it look bigger than what it actually is. So that's very important. Here I'm trying to make the space look big, but I'm also trying to zoom in and get that mountain region. So there's a happy medium. So you've really got to just balance it out in your camera and do your best. Very happy with the images I'm seeing today. Very happy. So it's actually winter here on the Sunshine Coast. So the cool, is it, the air's a little bit cool. What's really great is when it's colder weather, your images are always a lot more crisp. So very, very good to know. Okay, being gentle on my feet. Loving this, loving this. You can tell I'm in my element, right? So what I'm doing, I'm scanning the rest of the house for any other shots. Um, so don't mind me if I'm a bit quiet, I'm just thinking of my next shot. Let's get another image here. So that light's dropping very fast, I can feel it. It's gonna be nice and easy on our feet. I'm just gonna step one foot backwards. Reason is we have a clothesline out the back. It does have clothes on it, but that's okay. We can just shoot around it. So since our light's dropping very fast, we've got a big shed area from up here that I can see, and also a pool area. So I'm gonna document these, and what better with an ocean view in the background. Ah, the serenity, love it. Great, so we're gonna go inside. So I'm gonna see if there's any plans of attack interior with, with, a, with, a, with a nice view. I'm thinking actually right here. You can see a little bit of mountain foliage here. I'm gonna see if there's a shot sort of just shooting through. I might just turn my flash on. I can see my flash batches are getting a little bit low so I will replace those in a moment.
Dusk is a funny one. I, I always mix a bit of flash with a bit of ambient light. You can use it with or without. It's really personal preference because the light is so even. Um, on interiors though, I'd always have my flash on during a photo shoot, very important. Yeah, it's nice, it's a bit different. So I've got all my doors open, all my lights on, chairs are all straight. So we're really just pointing and shooting at the moment. So I'm getting the living area with that beautiful mountain region. And I'm also shooting outside this area here where the door is, just really showing depth and, and, and just makes it a bit more inviting. What I'm doing here now is I'm imagining myself cooking at this kitchen. So I'm gonna get a little bit of the, uh, the cooktop here, a little bit of the kitchen sink, right out to that ocean view. That way you can really picture yourself, you know, cooking dinner, looking at that amazing view every night. I know I never get sick of it. So I've just sort of sent, I've just sort of gone to a bit, more, bit to my left. We have a full moon tonight, which is uh, you know, quite unique um, when shooting a property like this. It looks great in the image. So just trying to show that off. We've got a fireplace over here to our left. so. Uh, as we all know, we can superimpose a fire in a fireplace very easily. Gone to the old days of uh, you know, bringing newspaper and matches and, and quickly lighting it and grabbing the shot. We'll just do it in the post process, pro you know, just do it in the ed editing process. All right, a couple more up here. So I'm gonna go into the living area. Once again, that has views. Uh, try and capture those because once that light drops and it's black outside, your view is gonna be black and you're just gonna miss it. What is really great is the rest of the home can be shot at any time. Uh, the most important areas are anything with a view. So you always want to shoot that first and get them out of the way. The views out here are a little bit, what have we got? That's cool, that's cool. So I think these are our main areas here. So I'm just gonna shoot back here. So you want to bracket all your shots, very important. My camera brackets automatically at five JPEG images. So I'd recommend you do the same. If you're unsure, give us a few extras and that isn't an issue as well. Of course, boxbrady.com can you know, automatically merge all your shots to get that picture perfect image every time. That way you capture that ocean view or that exterior view in the shot as well as the interior. All right, give me one minute. I'm just gonna quickly change these battery, these uh, flash batteries. Always great to have backup, you know, flash batteries, flash up, uh, you know, backup camera batteries. Um, you never know when you might need them. Looking good. I'm just gonna do one last scout around here. See if there's any other shots I have missed. And then I'm just gonna chuck on my wide angle lens and then just get, 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 get to work up here again. Don't mind me, I've got a bit of the flu at the moment. So I'm a bit stiffly, you know why? Keep that flash off, this shot. So a good time when you know that it's premium dusk light is when you've got no reflections on the windows outside. That's when you know it's getting very close to be shooting outside. Awesome, I'm just gonna change this lens. back in the kitchen area again. It will look like I'm taking very similar shots than before, but when you've got a wide angle lens on, it makes a huge difference. So I'm using a crop sensor today camera body. So, so 12 mils perfect on a crop sensor. If you're shooting a full frame, 
allow, you know, usually about 17 mils at sweet spot, but anywhere between 16 and 80 mil will make the image look, look right. Anything wider, you're gonna make the, the place look like an aircraft hammer, hanger, and that's never good. Great, looking good. So here I'm just gonna get a couple of different angles of the kitchen. Always super important in my eyes. Lights are on. Chairs are straight as we said, so it's really just point and shoot. So bracketing is very important. You always want to do it. The more photo information that we are sent at Box Brownie, the better editing we can do. That just looks divine with these down lights and those polished floors. Just looks great. So I'm gonna go here in the corner and get a really wide one of this whole area. Cameraman could probably go right in the corner of the kitchen. And uh, I'm gonna really try and just get the most out of this room from this corner. Just checking my, my zoom. Sitting in, the good, sitting, sitting in a good spot. And just keeping nice and still. Just notice something, which won't affect any of the other shots but this one. I'm just gonna center this ornament here. Hopefully it's not too heavy. Right in the middle. So I'm gonna take that shot again really quick. So nice and still, let the brackets, you know, let this camera's bracketing app do everything. If you don't have automatic bracketing function on your camera, put it in manual mode and just take brackets that way. That's the easiest or quickest way possible. That's great. So I'm just gonna slowly do the same thing, probably just over here from this kitchen sort of sink area. So home preparation is mega important. Especially when you have, you know, you're shooting a dust shoot, you have limited time. You don't want to spend any extra time and effort moving things around. Um, if you haven't seen it, boxbranding.com has an awesome pre-photography checklist created by moi. Um, it's about two pages condensed down. It's a tick box system. Uh, if you tick off everything on that, the house is going to be ready. Give that to your owners or give that to your agent and let them get it all sorted because you as a photographer, you know, you're not a removalist, you're not a cleaner. You're here to take the best images possible. Of course, you might need to move small items out of the way, which is always normal. But if the house is prepared for you, it just means you can take, you know, just extra energy and spend that all on getting the best shots possible. Looking good. Light's dropping far. So what I'm thinking at the moment is I want to get an awesome shot up here on this balcony, which is fine. Then I also need to shoot the whole outside of the property as well. So at the moment, I'm shooting the main areas, which are you know, master bedrooms, a dining area, all this kitchen and entertaining area. They're our most important areas and of course the views. So if you shoot them too much later, you're going to miss out. But, so you've got to be very wary of that. So what's your hero shots of the property? You know, what's the main selling points? These are the things you, you really want to cover. Um, and this is why I'm shooting, you know, shots earlier and then shots later as well. So I know downstairs is, is not as important. It still is, but the views outside, it won't matter how dark I shoot that, put it that way. Um, so I'll keep moving on. I'm just going to shut this front door because it's in my shop. Checking our lights out here. Some are on, some are off. One, two, great, they're right now on. So I'm just gonna shoot this main area upstairs. Um, and then I think we're gonna walk outside and, and literally scout our shots around there. So just so we don't miss that light. Because once it's gone, you've only got one opportunity. And as I said, light drops fast. Okay, let that do its thing. I'm a big fan of turning my focus off 
in my shots, especially if you're manually bracketing. That way your camera won't try and zoom in and out on the shot. Um, I've never had an issue doing that and I highly recommend it. So this, this exposure now is 20 seconds. So this is why you've got to move fast, plan your shots, because you, know, you, you could be taking a photo for a couple of, you know, one or two minutes almost, and when you've only got maybe between six and 12 minutes of premium light, that's only really six shots by the time you run around. So super important. Dust shoots are like chess. You've really got to play your cards right. Um, otherwise, the queen will get you. Um, that's all good. I'm just uh, going around in circles at the moment, but I'm going to probably take a shot from this area here. Maybe front door. So I'll shut this up a little bit. I'm just gonna try and incorporate the hallway into that kitchen area and also this little area here. We're looking good. We're gonna be all right, I promise. that light, check, checking my shots. So 15 seconds, so yeah, outside will be even worse because it's even darker outside without no, any lighting. So I am wary of that. Um, just checking that light, the sun hasn't dropped too much down on that mountain range. Our shot will be almost done. So I'm gonna shoot back this way. So I'm just gonna shut this door to the study here really quick. And then I'm gonna shoot back here reason I'm shutting that door is there's a little bit of stuff in the, in, in the study area, the office area I should say, um, and having that door shut will be nicer. Um, yeah, cool. Cameraman can go wherever he likes and I'll work around him. Yeah, maybe in that corner if that's all right. Beautiful, beautiful. He's even lighting up the shot for me. Love it. Okay. Let's go turn my flash on. So turning your flash on in dark areas will actually help focus. So I just did that really quickly to make sure it was okay because I'm really limited on time. One second. Wait, four seconds. So another 15 second shot here. So um, I know it's worth it, but yeah, you've got to be very, very cautious of your time. So I'm going to quickly shoot the master bedroom. And then I'm gonna go back on the deck and actually shoot back towards the house because I think that's exactly how I wanna play, play this dust shoot. Oh, that's a great shot. What I love about this shot is I can see the kitchen area, I can see this living area and also the dining area, combining literally three areas in one, which is always a good thing. We've prepped the, the bedroom. So I'm just gonna shoot right from this doorway, like right here and just shoot out. So maybe, um, Maybe that far corner, if that's okay, Mr. Cameraman. So what I'm doing here is I'm sort of getting a shot of the bed, looking out to that tremendous view, and also showing the access to the bathroom. Looking good. What I might do is get a second shot of this bedroom from that other far corner looking back just to show the size of it because it is quite big. We'll do the bathroom and then we'll end up back on that back deck. And then I think we're gonna go out the front because it's looking super dark. So on that, this tree foliage out here, the sun is setting that way. Um, it's always gonna look, look a lot darker. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna shoot the balcony first, then I'm gonna shoot the front next, and then I'm gonna go walk around the back and shoot that way. Probably that corner if that's okay, sir. So that little, I'm just gonna straighten up this mat. That jumper I moved before, I'm just gonna place it over here. We can't see our water bottle, we can't see our phone charger, which is great. This blue chair is just jumping out at me from this angle. So I'm just gonna move it here for a moment. Ooh, that light's dropping fast, but I love it. Dust shoots are so challenging and so rewarding at the same time. It's just literally a race against the time. Not for the faint-hearted, so 
if you're doing a dust shoot professionally, maybe for an agent and, and you're an amateur photographer, get as much practice as possible because every house is different and every scenario is different. So the more practice, the better you're gonna be, of course, as they say, practice makes perfect. I quite like the thrill, to be honest. It's good. Just waiting for that camera, it's a 20 second shot. Cool, so let's get this bathroom really quickly. That way we haven't missed anything on this level. That way we can sort of chill a bit. So I'm actually gonna shoot through this way. So um, the cameraman can actually come in if he wants and go right around the corner to the left. There's probably a toilet there. And I'm gonna go where that basket is. So don't trip over. Yeah, don't trip over, mate. I tried to warn you. Okay, so here is good. It's gonna go a little bit lower here. I do shoot everything around head height, which I find works, you know, eye level. That's, that, that's what works all the time. At the moment here, I'm actually shooting on 10 mil on my crop sensor. Why you glass, you always say 12 mil. Reason is if you, you know, really tighten the bathroom, sometimes it's okay to actually shoot a bit wider because it actually compensates on the film. Um, that looks great, doesn't actually look any bigger than what it really is. And that's the biggest thing you just don't want to do. We have an opening here, which is fine. Let's go back on that, on that, on that balcony area really quickly. Yeah, it's looking good. So this shot back here, it doesn't even matter how late I shoot that because the view is just trees, so that's fine. Um, I'm gonna try and shoot this area here. Cameraman might go behind me. I'm gonna bring this back up to eye level. This is perfect timing, perfect timing. Looking really good. I'm just gonna quickly, really quickly. That's my OCD kicking in. Everything's gotta be, everything's gotta be good. All right, and back we go. Back to 12 mil. I'm gonna use a bit of this tree foliage here in the shot. A bit of green's always nice. Actually gonna turn my flash on. Help with focusing. All right, I am running out of light, so what I'm gonna do really soon is probably flick it into manual mode myself. And look, it is okay. We'd actually, on a shot like this, we don't need five brackets. We could get away with you know two or three really good ones with great you know light gradient. That's a five second shot. This next one's 20 seconds. So I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna actually do this one. I'm gonna do the same over here because there's such hero shots in my eyes. And then out the front, I know I'm gonna have to really just chuck it in manual mode and just start just banging shots out. Um, you know, time is of the essence. I'll let this one go. I'm gonna use this one as a test bed. If it's too blown out in 20 seconds, let's move. Yeah, we're looking good, we're looking good. So I'm gonna go over here. Oh yeah. So there's a bit of roof here. I'm actually gonna do the shot from here. So this roof here actually restricts my image. Making sure that focus is great. Being super steady. Got a little bit of wind at the moment. That's okay. This shot's, this shot's six seconds. I'm guessing the next one will be 25 seconds. 25 seconds. So what can I talk about in 25 seconds? My next shot. So it will be manual mode, 100%. I've got to quickly put my shoes on. I've got to try not get bitten by the dog and I've got to try and get the rest of the shot. So we've got a, a beautiful pool area down here, which we have to shoot. Uh, I know all my lights are on downstairs, so that's a time saver already. So I'm gonna do the front, and then I'm gonna do the back last. Why? Because this is actually a lot more open than what the front is. The front's a lot darker. Oh, that's a lovely shot. What I'm gonna do is just already flick it in manual mode. Turn my bracketing off. And I'm just gonna get a, any hero shot, I always get a slightly different version of it. Um, why? Because if it's blurry, 
you've got a back half and you might like one angle a little bit better than the other. That's why I do it. Eight seconds. Oh, that's good. Next one's gonna be two and a half seconds. I'm shooting an F7.1. Yeah, great. And look, this is how quick it can be as well. I know from these shots I've taken, we can create the image I need, which helps get the show a bit, you know, show a bit done a bit quicker. Let's go over here really quick. And because we've got, I'm just gonna see if I can make something work here. Just, just that view, it's just, it's just too good not to capture. Let that do its thing. The full moon's lovely tonight. Okay. As you said, like, as I said earlier, it's okay to put it in manual mode. If you don't have an automatic bracketing function, this camera, the Nikon 7200, it's absolutely a perler. Um, it's a run out model, so you can only find it online. We have a great blog on it, you know, A to Z on how to set it up. Um, it won't let you down. I still use the camera. I still froth on it, as we say here on the Sunshine Coast. Just love it. It's just a really great camera. Okay, last shot. Then I'm chucking my shoes on and we'll finish. We haven't, I actually haven't got all the shots I want in here. Um, but look, I've got, I'm happy with the view shots I've taken. Let's get the front and then let's get out the back. Don't be shy to run around on a dust shoot. I'm only running to put my shoes on. Hi, Spud. Okay, shoes on, let's get to business. Do you want my shoelaces? No one wants to see me trip over. Well, they might actually, but yeah. All right, let's get into it. So really quickly, Got a soccer ball here, I'm just gonna put that in the trees. So I'm gonna get the entrance first. So anything closer will actually be darker in our shots. So the further back you go, the more light you actually have. Spud's gonna feature in this shot. Flash is on. So this shot's now 10 seconds. So what I'm gonna do is look at the image, gauge from it, and just work out whether I need a lighter shot or a darker shot. Oh, looking lovely. So it's quite light. So I'm gonna, go the, I'm gonna jump down to four seconds now. F7.1. Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna drop it down to two seconds. And then I'm gonna get, a, get, a, get probably one more shot at roughly around sort of 10 seconds. And then we're good. So you know what? I'll go 13 seconds. So my next shot's gonna be actually a little bit further away, get the whole house in. To be honest, I think there's probably not many more angles at this front to shoot, um, which is a good thing. Then we can run around the back and get that beautiful pull shot. Lovely, I know that's gonna work. Let's move on. What I'll actually do is I'll, I'll, I'll superimpose these brackets onto the video so everyone sort of knows roughly what I'm looking at. That'd be pretty cool, I reckon. We've got a basketball court here, probably, I mean, a basketball ring. Could be a good idea to, you know, maybe get that out of the shot. But of course, we can always item remove it via boxbrownie.com. Okay. Focus sounds good. I'm gonna bump this one up to 20 seconds. While that's taking a shot, I'm just gonna scout around the rest of the house. Just make sure there's nothing else that, I, that I'm missing. Is there a shot down here I can get? Maybe. Might fall off a cliff. Look, it's a bit narrow down there. I really think, you know, this angle is the hero shot. Maybe something front on could look quite cool. Maybe straight up here as well. Cool, that's taken its shot. So as you can see, I'm not letting any of my time wasted. I'm always thinking ahead, you know, always wondering what the next shot is. 
and that's what you've got to do with dust shoots, like, you know, light weights for no one. It's looking very nice, very happy with what I see. As you can tell, I love the rush, it's good. So what I'm gonna do, I'm really happy with those two shots. My light's dropping, so I just don't wanna miss the opportunity of that, of that lovely pool area. So let's go check that out right now. Just gonna get a real quick shot here. The dog's gonna be running around the shot, but that's okay. They will turn into little ghosts. We've got a garden hose here, which I didn't get time to actually move earlier. Um, that's fine, we can actually replace that with grass, which is very easy. What I will do though, so it doesn't cost any extra in box brownie, it's gonna get that off that drain there. So we will replace anything on the ground. You know, if it's grass and something on the ground, we can easily replace that for free. But if we have to clone you know, any lines or items out, that's when it can cost a bit extra. So always good to know. Awesome, looking good. Just gonna bump this one up to 30 seconds now. Um, very dark, very dark, but that's okay. Hello, how you doing? <laughs> so my next shot's definitely gonna be that pool shot. I don't wanna miss out on it. Um, and look, this lighting isn't too bad at all. What I am gonna do though for this shot is, I'm just gonna run up there and double check really quick that those uh, balcony lights outside don't work or if, if they do work sorry cool wait there I'll be back in a minute we're going to go right at the back Let's do another 30 second shot camera's playing up on me Checking my angle, I'm still happy with it. So what I'm, what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna go upstairs, you know, in a, in a bit more of a timely fashion. We'll shoot up the rest of the house upstairs. Uh, all those views have been done. So like realistically, the stressful part's over. Um, we, you know, we, we've planned for that, which is great. Um, our shots are gonna look awesome. And then the bottom stairs, bottom, bottom area downstairs, um, living areas and, and a couple of bedrooms, we'll shoot those. They have no view, so it doesn't really matter when we shoot them, which is really cool. We get one more slightly different angle. This is a hero shot, so reason why I said upstairs, I'm taking two different angles. Maybe it looks great on the back of my screen here in the dark, but when I get to the computer, it could be you know slightly out of focus or blurry. So if I take two shots, it's my insurance to make sure that I've got the shot I need. So 30 second shots done. Doing my one second shot now. The reason why I do such you know quick exposures is because you really want to get all that interior light right and give us those proper gradients all the way through your shots. I'm just shooting in, you know, automatic white balance, um, aperture 7.1, and now I'm in manual mode, just having a bit of a play. I'm gonna do one more shot here at 15 seconds, then we can walk back out the front um, and start getting the rest of the shots inside. Hope you're enjoying the video so far. Please write any comments. Um, here to help make your real estate photography as good as it can be. And you know, shooting it's really only, I say a third of the battle. Um, the two thirds really does come out, you know, in the editing process. And with boxbrownie.com, you know, we just have you covered in so many ways. So now I'm just shooting everything inside. There's no windows, there's no doors to look out in, no views. Putting my bracketing function back on. A shot there, shot from the other corner looking in. I'm gonna actually, you know, integrate the dining table and the kitchen in one shot and then get a couple of shots of the kitchen. Got a couple of bedrooms upstairs, a couple of bedrooms downstairs, then we're good to go. It's 
to make this a bit quicker, so I'm not cheating, I'm going to flick it into manual mode. That way we can really just start getting the shots we need. Put this here. I'm shooting the dining area with the kitchen, also incorporating that, that hallway throughout there to create space, create depth. Because here this shot just looks great on one second. But me being me, I'm going to give us a couple of rackets because I know we'll do an even better job. Lovely. I'm going to go over here really quickly now, or swiftly I should say, and just shoot this whole area once again. I haven't shot this way I don't believe yet. So using the exact same settings as I just had. I'm just thinking, I might see if there's a shot there including, very similar to this, but actually including the outdoor entertaining area. And there is. I know I shot this similar, similar shot before, but since we have the time, I'm always keen to shoot any extra images I can. As you can see, it's very dark out there now. Any views you shoot are pretty much gonna be obsolete. We're not really right in the city, so all those colors won't pop too much. However, we do have the full moon, so it could be worth having a try. We might be able to make something work of that actually now, I think of it. You can, see, you can see that water over there on the horizon from that full moon, it looks amazing. So I think I'm gonna try a 30 second shot out there and see what we get. That's great. Let's see if I can eat my words. So 30 second shot, we'll see how this turns out. Then we'll go shoot the bedrooms on this level and then we'll have a look, bit of a look downstairs and then um, we're really just about there. Yeah, I think it's worth taking. Great, so I'm happy with this area now. Everything there's sorted. We'll just go down here, a couple of bedrooms, We've got a bathroom. I haven't prepped these, so I'll quickly do it now. A couple of bedrooms. Cool, so I'm actually gonna center this chair here a little bit, just in the corner. You could take it out if you want. I'm just gonna fix up these pillows. Um, see our blinds here? So I'm actually gonna bring this down so it's even with the top ones. Make sure they're sort of partially open, partially closed like so, looking pretty good. So that room's, that room's sorted. So we've got a bit of an odd shaped uh, bathroom, which is okay. Bath mat's going down here. We've got a bath loofah here. So what I'm gonna do is just sort of, I'm probably gonna get a shot. Ooh. Which way am I getting a shot? Yeah, tricky one. I'm gonna get a shot from that corner. Or maybe this corner. No, this corner. So that's fine there. I'm just gonna hide these. Whoop, it doesn't swing and hit anything. Hide this down here. I can plonk here. We'll keep walking through. Just uh, readjusting these a little bit side. Sometimes you have odd shaped pillows, that's okay. Just do your best. Got a jacket here. I might just sort of fold this up and just sort of put it behind the bed. As you can see out the window, it's very black. That's very normal. 
that's how these shoots happen, I guess, at night. That's why it's so important to plan your shots early and shoot anything with a view. I'll just move that hat over here. We're gonna go this way. There's a water bottle over here. I'll just put that down there really quick. Oh, lid wasn't on, but it's on now. Didn't spill a drop. It's got a bar through here. I'm just gonna get that and just put it down here. Uh, let's just adjust these really quick, these pillows. So it's really just, you know, wax on, wax off. It's the same procedure for most or pretty much any home. It's all the attention to detail you wanna look out for. Um, we're gonna go into this bathroom here as well really quickly. Look, I don't mind the hand soap. You can get rid of it for a cleaner look. Might just place it down there. I'm gonna shoot from this way. Uh, towel's looking good. Just gonna lift this bath mat up. Just gonna place it just down here because I know that won't be in our shot at all. Once again, we've got our, our shampoos and body wash and just get those out of the way as well. Cool, and there's one more bedroom here. That looks pretty much ready to go. Looking good. Okay, let's get this camera out and get some shots. Start off here. So I'm gonna keep my flash off, don't need it on. Let's manually bracket so it's a little bit more quicker for the viewers. Makes it a bit more realer too. This camera does cheat a bit. A few things I'm looking at here. We've got, you know, some wireless earphones down there, USB stick, don't actually mind it. It's boys room, um, it looks clean and tidy. Got the bean bag in the corner. You could move that out of shot if you want. Um, once again, I'm actually really happy with it. Looks neat, looks tidy. These aren't your selling points. Um, of course, it's really personal preference. I'm just gonna walk back around this way again. You know, attention to detail could be if you wanted to move these towels out of shot, you could. I'm just gonna straighten things up so they're nice and even. Um, you could double fold your towel over as well on a second glance. Could look nice. Then hanging over the edges. That this way. Makes it look a bit more compact. Ah, toilet seat down. Um, I might even just straighten up that. tap as I'm going. Making sure that our shower screen is closed good. Line up my shot and get it and get it get it photographed. So next shot's probably gonna be from of that bedroom, probably from the doorway. I'm a big fan of shooting bedrooms from the doorway. Just getting my bracketing right. Perfect all. Keep moving. On second glance, I might just, just to keep everything uniform, keep our blinds open very evenly. All our drawers are pushed in, not that they're in shot, but it's always good to know that. All of our, uh, what do you call it, closet, closet space is, uh, is shut as well. You don't want any half open doors in your images. And it's always the way, but see this lampshade's a bit crossed over. Okay. What I'm gonna do, it's a bit, I just don't wanna break it. So I'm just gonna actually move it, shift it around so it's not as slanted on one side. I'm happy with that. Nothing worse than moving, trying to, trying to adjust something for the shoot and it does break. Never, never good. Looking good. Just one more quick one. We've got two bedrooms here. Then we're gonna go downstairs and that's almost a wrap, almost a wrap. Ah, uh, see this pillow here? Never a fan, so always flip them over so you can't see that. Cool, that's about as good as I'm gonna get it. So that door's open to the, to the bathroom here. So I'm gonna show that in this image as well. If 
this is a one second shot. You're gonna evaluate that, it's a little bit light, I'll bring it back down, 2.5. We'll bump it up to two as well. And we'll get this bathroom from this corner, I think we said. That way we can get a bit of everything in. Happy with the blinds, happy with my placement. So flash off, never use flash in a bathroom. It's never needed. Same with kitchens or anything with a reflective splashback. Just keep it off, thanks. Keep it off. Cool, we can come through this way. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go the doorway so the, camera, the cameraman will be behind me. Look, just out of uh, goodwill, I'm just gonna move these couple of PS3 remotes. PS4, sorry, how bad of me. Um, this blind's a little bit uneven, so I'm just gonna fix that up. It's not much I don't miss, not much. But when you've been shooting for over 15 years, you know, you should have good attention to detail and I think it's very paramount for a real estate photographer. Look, that blind is broken, so it's gonna be the best we're gonna get it. Won't really pick up too much in this shot, so that's okay. Our uh, pillows are once again a bit uneven. See if I can just lift this green one up and a lot of the time you can spend a fair bit of time trying to get them right. Uh, just the nature of the beast, really. Cool, let's bump that up to one second. Good. All right. Keep the show on the road. Go downstairs. Actually not a bad shot here. It's always good to go for a few walks around the property, especially on different angles, because you'll always find something new that you haven't you know, noticed before. The cameraman might go that way a little bit for me. I've got a bit of reflection in the, in the mirror. In the glass, sorry. Thank you, sir. It's 1.3 seconds this is now. Looking good. I'm just gonna bump it up to roughly three seconds and I know that's gonna be good. Nice. Let's go downstairs. And finish off what's down here. Okay, so we've got a large living area. We've got a few items here. Um, what I'm gonna do is just sort of stack these photos just down here. Got like a quilt here, I'm just gonna even up. Uh, I've got a bit of stuff here in the, by the computer. So what I'm gonna do is just put this on the ground over here, out of shot. You really won't see it too much. This red bin, will be quite no way. So I'm gonna bring that over to the doorway and shoot past it. These you shouldn't notice too much. That's okay. Blinds are all looking good. Happy with that. Cushions are looking great also. So I'll put this here. We can just shoot past it. Turn my flash on for a bit of focus. Hope you're enjoying it guys, bit of a long one. Dust shoots can be, can be quite, uh, quite long. This is a big house, um, so you just gotta take your time. Um, judge your light, make sure you're, you're doing everything right. We can go from there. Cool, get that one here. Oh, another thing. Check this. So you can look at, you can, oh, I think I've been in this room three or four times now and I've picked up something every time. 
That's why scanning is so important. Scan the room, scan the room, and then scan it again if you have to. We can easily fix that, but it's just time and effort. An extra, and you know, an, an extra editing. So I've just moved forward a little bit. I had a bit of a door in the shop. I know I do talk about having doors in the shots. It looks great. You either got to have a fraction of the door or just don't have any at all. Don't get any of the bulky uh, doorways or anything like that. Never a good look in the shop. And we have a bit of a walk-in robe or it's actually this uh, storage cupboard here that's sinking into this room. So that's sort of why I've just taken an extra shot. We'll get a shot here. We'll get a shot there. Then we've got a shot of that bathroom and then we're done. Then we're done. I can't wait to get these photos edited, especially these view shots. Some of those angles are gonna be so sexy. Um, you know, what we call house porn. Okay. Or a hero shot. Hero shot's usually the best shot that's, that's really gonna capture that, that buyer's attention. I'm thinking it's gonna be up in that balcony somewhere. Let's turn this off. Doing a one second shot here. Still shooting on F7.1. Perfect. So here to show maximum size, I'm actually gonna, shooting on uh, 10 mil here. So as you said, it's, it's bathrooms are actually okay in areas. It is what it is. You just got, you gotta shoot the whole, whole area, but don't shoot too much if that makes sense. Or don't make it look too big, I should say. Two second shot. Got that bedroom now. Scanning, scanning, scanning. Everything's looking cool. Just try and pick up this a bit. And uh, look, we've got a little bit of bed sheet here. So maybe I can just sort of tuck that up. Because it won't show here at the end, but it's showing there. Cool. Looking good. That carpet's up a little bit, cool. All right, I think this is the last shot, gang. Last shot. Back to 12 mil. It's been a long video, I've got the flu, so sorry if I don't sound like my usual self. Hope you've enjoyed this video to date. Um, any tips, any tricks, let, let me know. I'm just finishing the shot, sorry. Um, look, that's looking really good. So. Thanks for watching this whole video. I hope you've learned something. Please comment below because we do read them and we're gonna answer and make as many videos from your comments as possible. Thanks for your support. Um, can't wait for the next one. Thanks for watching. See you soon.